Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are outside in this 95 degree heat to show you the Sun 200 watt solar panel. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. All right, and now here's what the solar panel looks like. You can see that it is a 16 bus bar configuration to give it more efficiency. And to also help out, it is bifacial. So you can see that it can actually accept light from the back as well. When it comes to the dimensions of this solar panel, it is 770 millimeters across by 1304 millimeters tall. And it's about 35 millimeters thick. If we look at the back of the solar panel, you can see that we have our positive and negative connections. They are MC4 connectors. They are also right in the middle of the solar panel, but they are separated. So the positive is over here and the negative is over here. And the cords look to be about a meter long. So probably about three feet. All right, when it comes to the amperage and the voltage of this panel, uh, it shows that the, uh, the maximum power voltage is 23.74 volts with an open circuit voltage of 27.31. And then when it comes to the amperage, uh, the maximum amperage is uh, 8.43, but a short circuit current is 8.91. This is, a, again, a 200 watt panel, and uh, it says it has about a 25% efficiency. And on the bottom here, it does say commitment to the maintain 84.5% of the output after 25 years. So that's really good. All right, so let's go ahead and connect this solar panel up to uh, a power station and let's see what kind of power we can get out of it. All right, you can see my setup right here. And what it is, is here is the 200 watt panel. And I also have this uh, portable air conditioner from CyberTake cooling my tent. And inside the tent is a Dobson, uh, I think a 2150. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pull up the Dobson uh, app and I'm gonna show you kind of what it's being pulled from right from this. And then I'm, we're gonna plug in the solar panel and see what happens. So you can see that right now this air conditioner is pulling 281 watts. So let's go ahead and plug in the solar panel and see how much power we can actually get from this panel with uh, clear blue skies. Here's our negative and our positive, connecting it now. And I'm, I'm shading it so it won't go right away, but there we go. Okay, I'm out of the shade. Let's see, our input is starting to rise. It's at 60, 77. All right, and it looks like it has, uh, it's equaled out to about 154 watts of input. And this thing is nowhere near uh, the perfect angle. So let me try to angle it and see if we can actually pull more. All right, I've angled it a little bit more towards the sun and a cloud just came in and our output is dropping. Wow, look at that. That cloud dropped it down to zero watts of input. Oh, 14, 14 watts of input. So we'll wait for this cloud to pass over and we'll see what we can get. Because I saw 170 on there. The wind keeps knocking over my camera. And now our input is climbing up. Got 168 watts, 173. Let's see if I can angle it a little bit more. All right, I would say that this angle is almost perfect and I'm still seeing 172 watts. I thought I saw it go up to 180 at one point. There we go, 178. All right, so it looks like the most we're gonna get out of this panel is about 178 watts. Now, granted, that's pretty good because again, it is 95 degrees out here. And so as this panel heats up, as this panel heats up, it's going to lose a little bit of voltage because of the heat. All right, well, I wasn't really too happy with the 178 watts that we were getting as a max on that other test. So I went ahead and brought out this Opus 1200. Right when I brought it out and set it up, um, I looked at the app and I just started recording. And here, let me show you right here. It was started at 197 and it reached up to 200 watts with no problem. And it, and it just set, it settled right around 198, 199. I mean, it sat there for, you know, right at 200 watts. So this panel can definitely pull it's full rated wattage. All right, so if you have any questions about the 200 watt Call Sun bifacial panel, 
uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description along with everything else I used. Thanks a lot for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.